this is the IKEA Sierra the Notice. Sierra living in the United States. Sierra entering the Yoruba Kingdom. In the name of His Highness, if we welcome to the sacred Yoruba village in North America, built by priests of the Voodoo Coast as a tribute to our ancestors. These priests preserve the customs, laws, and religion of the African race. Welcome to our land. And this uh, says the same thing in Yoruba. In Yoruba, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Would y'all like me to say it in Yoruba? No, nah, that's fine. But notice it really is a portal. And all of us have been through the ancestors. So just over here, uh -huh. at Old Transfer, there's actually a part where right here it took me away that I fought in the war. And when you go out of here and on that bridge going towards Charleston and stuff, it's the only area to me uh -huh. This is the sacred area to me. And before elders or anybody even come in, they stop here and they go by the Go by the and just get things to the ancestors and everything. You can't even go back. Yeah, I know. 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 I but it's under reconstruction now. They made it wider and they're making it two stories now as well. Oh, okay. okay. In Cuba. In 1971, a year after founding the village, he traveled to Nigeria and was initiated as Babala or High Priest in our culture. He again visited Nigeria in 1981 at the end of the year. Yeah, I just wanted her to say it for the camera. <laughs> Shango, we was also open the way for us, so when we go past Eshu, we'll just stand and we pray for our days to go from good to better to best. I see. I told you certain certain the times do a little different mm -hmm. in Africa. It's done different a little bit than the Cubans. In Africa, we do it different. I see. You, we have many different aspects of Asher, like you. Yes, it's a lot of men. Yeah. We put a lot of palace areas where the Oba lives with his family. And this is also where our school is located. Our school is the Yoruba Royal Academy and it goes from grades 1 through 12. All of our graduates have gone into higher education. One young lady was honored in her bag, was honored by having her biography published in Who's Who among American high school seniors and another made the Dean's list. I love you. Yeah. There's, uh, there's uh, her grace, one of uh, the Obas wives. Okay. Everybody's busy working, it's so beautiful. Thank you. And she had uh, her biography published in Who's Who among American high school seniors and another made the Dean's list. And yeah, the tradition was that we are we, we reborn through our blood and sisters. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the, uh, the Royal Ancestor Shrine. We have the Queen of the Oyangole in his name, and the Lada Humi, and Adekumi from his dad, making him Adekumi II. I see that you're going I'm an ancestor. Uh, I go. Can I talk a minute? She was initiating into the ocean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, these actual bodies, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that. Yes, Mama Kate Ocean from Davis, one of the first African American women in Holland to be initiated into the priesthood of Ocean. Mm -hmm. 
super excited ever since I found y'all. Oh, all the cool, and what? Oh, uh, all the cool, yeah. What is this symbol? A uh, reminder for something is good. This is for y'all, man. Guys. Some poor game and guys called the Mother of God. She lives in the sea and is the patron of the Women's Society here in Oyotunji. For that reason, we have the female's rights of passage during her festival. At that time, every December 31st, and thousands of paper boats are launched into the ocean full of candies, candles, and other gifts to the Arisha. They are actually sort of remodeled this house and make it into the Arisha. Just remodeled the same way to the Arisha. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ashon is the mother of Oyotunji. Her number is five and her colors are gold. Stop. Oh, go on, try. are multicolored but she is partial to purple like pluto she rules scorpio she is the favorite wife of shungo and is called the mother of egongo